Electrical power failure is affecting between 700,000 to 800,000 residents in the San Fernando Valley. Power has returned briefly in some parts of the area, but the issue remains ongoing. Origin of power failure is unknown, and currently under investigation. The local authorities ask all residents affected by this situation to remain calm and wait patiently for the return to normal. Specialized teams have been dispatched to the area to restore power as soon as possible. If you have a medical condition that requires you to be connected to an electrical medical device, please call 951-262-3062 and we will direct you to the appropriate help point. 951-262-3062the instructions in the warning to keep you and your loved ones safe. County officials are investigating reports that a blackout in central Los Angeles is linked to a malware program that causes malfunctions in the electrical grid system. Major blackouts have been reported beyond the central area, across Los Angeles, Orange and Ventura counties, and some parts of the Inland Empire. Ongoing power failure is affecting between 12 to 15 million residents. It is imperative that any electronic device with an internet connection be carefully monitored in order to avoid further spread of the Pegasus malware program. If you are not affected by this power outage, please shut down all electronic devices connected to the internet without delay. This includes Wi-Fi router, tablet, laptop, desktop, smart home control device, wireless security camera. We recommend that you keep your cell phone on but turn off the internet connection. If you have to travel out of town, do not connect to an unknown Wi-Fi network under any circumstances. Do not download files from unknown sources. Report any suspicious text messages by calling 911 immediately. Cyber Command has issued a warning not to send or open messages on electronic devices. If you're a resident of the state of California, please report any suspicious activity by calling 911. What is Pegasus, spyware that can install itself on any electronic device, including smartphones, laptops, and computer servers? Spreads through electronic messages sent via Wi-Fi or cellular technology, and does not require the user to click a link to install it. It is believed hackers are using it to obtain access codes to electrical power systems and controlling them via an unknown program. Capable of surveilling and capturing all information on any electronic device, including personal and password data. Important updates regarding the blackout. There will continue to be instances where power is briefly restored in the affected area. It is a deliberate ploy by the still unidentified terror group and a means for it to broadcast politically motivated messages. Please stay updated on this situation only through authorized channels. Between 20 to 25 million residents are in the affected area. Originally concentrated in the Los Angeles metropolitan area, it has been reported in other parts of Southern California. An unidentified terrorist group is responsible for carrying out the attack, and continues to remain in control of several electrical power systems. FEMA, in conjunction with the National Guard, state and local emergency assistance agencies, is providing relief to those in the affected area. U.S. Cyber Command is working to ensure the attack does not spread beyond the affected area, and that the terrorist group conducting it is neutralized. The state of California is not permitting anyone to cross state lines at this time. International travel to and from California has been suspended indefinitely. It is advised that if you have friends or family in the blackout area, to prepare for their arrival. If a resident leaves the affected area, they will not have a means to inform you of their arrival. It is not illegal for residents within the affected area to leave. This is a critical update on the ongoing cyber attack. Things you should know about Stuxnet. It is a computer virus designed to infiltrate and destroy electrical power systems. 
It was launched in 2010 on electrical power facilities in Iran in order to deter the development of nuclear weapons. It is capable of making electrical power systems completely inoperable. It was developed by U.S. Cyber Command in collaboration with American, German and Israeli technology companies. It was designed to be untraceable computer code, but copycats have been developed by expert hackers. Stuxnet, not Pegasus, is the primary computer program being used by the attackers. Stuxnet, not Pegasus, is the primary computer program being used by the attackers. Stuxnet, not Pegasus, is the primary computer program being used by the attackers. The United States is warning all citizens that multiple government broadcast channels, including the emergency alert system, have destabilized due to ongoing cyber attacks against the federal government. Important things to know regarding the cyber attack on electrical power grids. The United States is not aware of any other imminent malware threat beyond the Pegasus program. Pegasus has been reported only in urban areas within Southern California. Please refer to local authorities on critical updates regarding Pegasus. The United States will never declare success or failure during counterterrorism operations via the emergency alert system. U.S. Cyber Command is working to ensure the attack does not spread beyond the affected area, and that the terrorist group conducting it is neutralized. Important information regarding the ongoing cyber attack. Various computer hacker organizations have spent years searching for and imitating the source code of the Stuxnet virus. An unknown terrorist group is spreading a Stuxnet clone via Pegasus, a malware program developed by the NSO group. NSO is currently on the U.S. entities list, and is being investigated by international agencies. Stuxnet has destroyed the electrical power grid of Los Angeles and its surrounding metropolitan area. Stuxnet has infiltrated electrical power grids in major urban areas throughout the United States, Europe and Asia. Complete power failure is imminent not only within the U.S., but throughout the globe. The battlefield is your mind. They win when you lose it to the dark.